Thank you. All right. Welcome to Grandma Patch's YouTube channel. I'm here with my dad, Dennis Kluver, also known as Papa, and my mom, also known as Gaga, and their little puppy, Buddy. Buddy. And what Grandma Patches did today is make chicken curry. So years ago, we lived in East Africa, and Grandpa gave me, or Papa gave me, Bat Valley's recipe. So I tweak it a little bit, but we're going to dish up the way that we learned how to eat curry in East Africa. That's what we're gonna do today. So, Daddy, I'm gonna take this, and put, we'll put, I'll put this over here. Um, I forgot the spoons, but that's okay. And you you know how to do your rice because yep. you always spread it out. Yep. So we'll spread out the rice like this. And then, then we're gonna put the curry on top of that. Mm -hmm. Now you guys, this curry was made with so much love. That's enough tater. You can smell the love. <laughs> How about a chicken leg, Daddy? Sure. All right, we'll put the chicken leg right Whoa. there and Whoa. a little more sauce. Some more juice. Mm-hmm. You want a little more juicy? Yep, that's great. All right, we can always come back for more. Now, we're gonna do the best <laughs> of all. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna put condiments on here like this. There's chopped celery. So we're gonna get our fresh vegetables with this, and this just adds a little special flavor. And it looks so colorful. We're gonna colorful. save the coconut to last. We're gonna put crushed pineapple on. Thank you, Susie, for remembering that. Mm -hmm. And it's sweetened in its own juice. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna put some these wonderful onions. Onions add a lot of flavor to this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put some peppers on here. Look at the color now. See the color coming out? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, Beautiful Daddy. color. Just imagine that. I get to eat it, too. And then we're going to put bananas on there. Mm -hmm. And is this how you and Pat Moore used to eat it at Bat Valley, Daddy? Exactly. Some cucumbers, Daddy? You know why they call it Bat, Bat Valley? I do, but tell everyone. It was called Bat Valley because they had these large fruit bats. These fruit bats were this long, about this big around, and they hung from the papaya trees and the, and the, the trees there in that valley. And when we were in the restaurant, you could see those, those bats hanging there all day long. And then when the sun went down, it's time for them to go on, and they call them fruit bats because they live on fruit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they live on fruit. Wow. That's Bat and Valley, Africa. Africa. And, and what, what country in Africa? Uganda. Kampala, Uganda. Kampala, Uganda. Kampala Thank you. City. <clears throat> and now we're going to give it the color of all. We're going to put the coconut on here like fresh this. Fresh cucumber, fresh bread. See here? Mm -hmm. Coconut. I love coconut. And then peanuts. We forgot the peanuts. Yes. That's the last thing you put on top are the peanuts. And there you have it. So you guys, um, I always like to put a little slice of fruit, apple or mango or anything on the side. And then instead of chapati, I made uh, this beautiful flour tortilla and I browned it and I put butter on it. And uh, do you want a dollop of uh, yogurt on top. Well, yeah, you can it, put... It tones it down. Yeah, you can put a little on there. And, uh... Is that yogurt? That's oh, good. yeah. It's organic. This is... Beautiful. Oh. classified as a, as a feast. Bat Valley. This so, is Susie's specialty. Nobody can make it like her. I'm telling and you. And this will be in Grandma Patch's cookbook, you guys. It's already written. We just have to publish it, so... Oh, thank you for the invitation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Ciao, Thank ciao. You. Enjoy.